Okay, so let me show you how to use the Verify app in order to scan this receipt within a few seconds. Okay, so um, I went to iTunes, um, I installed the app, and now I'm just gonna start it up. Hello. Right, so the first thing you're gonna see is a documents view. There's obviously a bunch of other options, but we can save that for another video. Um, what I wanna do is take a photo with the camera. So when I look at the bottom in the footer here, you can see that the middle button is actually the camera button. So let's press that and uh, lift the phone above the receipt. Now you're gonna see that the camera has turned on. Um, that automatically happens when there's not enough light. So as I raise the phone over the receipt, what you're gonna notice is this green container that showed up. So that's tracking the receipt. I can do it on an angle as well. All right, let's take a photo. Right, look at that. So what you're seeing is the software has in real time extracted out the receipt from all of the background noise. And that's part of the magic inside Verify, that it does a lot of cleaning up in the phone and then a bit of uh, cleaning up on the back end. So I'm very happy with this, right? Now, if I wasn't happy, um, I could press this button up here in order to go back and take another photo. Um, I can obviously delete uh, this image uh, or I could stitch more photos. So if this, was, if this receipt was longer or maybe there was two pages to it, I would stitch more. But in this instance, all I want to do is just submit, right? And that's it. Now, what you're seeing is real-time processing, right? This is machine processing. So any second now, it's going to be done. There, there we go. Now, what do we see here? So let's have a careful look. So that says duplicate document. Oh, okay. So the other day, I was doing another um, uh, demo of, of this receipt and I, and I scanned it here, right? So the software actually picked up that this receipt is a duplicate. Um, and so it will flag it like this. But anyway, let's have a look at it. So if I don't, if I don't like this duplicate, I can actually just delete it by swiping the cell. Um, but for this demonstration purposes, I just want to click on it because I really want to see what the software extracted. So let's have a look. It knew which place um, I, I purchased, uh, you know, a bunch of items from. So we're looking at, uh, what is this, Clock Tower. You see the logo? Now, there's no logo on the receipt. That's because Verify has a database of logos and it can associate vendors with logos and vice versa. So if I only had the logo uh, on the receipt itself, uh, the software would still identify this as a clock tower coffee. Now, you should give this a try just to see how cool that works. But anyway, lo looking at more of the, uh, more of the uh, uh, bits and pieces in the, uh, what was extracted. All right, so we see that the document was extracted August 20th, 955. Yep, there it is, right there, 955, August 20th. Um, what else do we have? It's meals and entertainment, that is correct. The total, 654, wow, look at that. All of that is great. Even, look at this, even the payment type was extracted. That's my payment type. There's a bunch of other bits and pieces here that are not relevant to this receipt, but that's fine. If I had a project or a custom, I could actually tag it. Um, there's notes that I could add if it's, you know, if this receipt's related to some sort of uh, business event. Uh, what else do we have? And here's all my OC, OCR text data. So I can actually use that data to, um, uh, you know, to just extract and, and, and use it for other purposes if I need to. But let's have a look at the receipt. So I just tapped on that picture and it expanded out. There it is, that looks really good. I'm really happy with that. Now I can do a couple of things here with this receipt. I can press that little mail icon and send it to myself or maybe to someone else if I, you know, if someone owes me some money. I can also print it right there. That's just the other icon. But these, will, uh, these icons will only ever show up if I have uh, mail activated on my phone or a printer, air printer set up. All right, so cool, that looks all great. So let's just go back, uh, just scroll up a bit. You might be wondering why I have QuickBooks Online settings here. That's because I have enabled or should I say connected QuickBooks Online with Verify. So this receipt is now in QuickBooks. That's pretty cool. I'll show you another video how to do all of that. Uh, but for now, there you go. Hope you like what you saw. All right, thank you.